The M4A1 Task Force Blueprint is out now. It is basically the M4A1 from Modern Warfare 2. The way to get this blueprint is to buy the Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered. But how to get it is not the intention of this video. Today I want to show you how to make the M4A1 Task Force even better. But before I show you the build, if you have a build you want me to try out and make a video about, let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. So, before we go into the M4A1 setup, you might wonder what the differences are between the normal M4A1 and the Task Force 1. It is actually just one, but a very crucial one at that. It is the iron side. The iron side is way more clean, making it very easy to use. This will make me change my normal M4A1 setup quite a lot. So let's get into the builds. Let's first start with the normal Task Force setup. It has the flash guard for muscle flash concealment, not that great in my opinion. The 14.5 tech light for more ADS speed. The Ranger foregrip for more recoil control and aiming stability. The sleight of hand for faster reload speed. And the Forge tech CQS stock for even more ADS speed. So basically it turns the M4 into an SMG hybrid. Making the ADS speed and reload speed fast while not buffing the range even once. I played some games with it and it's actually very nice. But I thought it could be even better. Let's see how I turn it into an even better weapon for Warzone. The first thing I did is changing the flash guard into the monolithic suppressor for more range and the very important sound suppression. I will keep the FSS 14.5 tech light for the fast ADS speed. Also, the Ranger foregrip will be on my build for recoil control and aiming stability. I did swap the slide of hand for the 60 round max. I will always prefer more in the Mac compared to faster reload especially in Warzone. And I also kept the Forge Tech CQS for more ADS speed. So the only two things I changed are the ammo situation and the suppressor instead of the flash muzzle. And these two adjustments make this weapon very strong in the Warzone. And because of the iron side, you don't need to put on a scope because it will do just fine in my opinion. Don't worry if you don't want to buy the blueprint. You can always recreate it on a normal M4A1, but you will not benefit from the better iron side. This is my M4A1 Task Force optimal setup. Make these changes if you want to use the Task Force M4 in Warzone and you will not regret it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.